Viagard Acumetrics, science and technology at its best. Hi, my name is Harvey Tannenbaum. I'm director of laboratory operations for Viagard Acumetrics, a DNA and testing facility. And I'm going to talk to you today about a couple of the services we provide in our animal health division. And those services are going to relate to men and women's best friend, their dog. And before I get to the services, I'm going to read briefly from a very famous speech made in 1855 by George Vest during a trial, part of which had to do with what is the relationship between the owner and the dog. And he said in that trial, and these words are very memorable, the one absolutely unselfish friend that man can have in this selfish world, the one that never deserts him, the one that never proves ungrateful or treacherous is his dog. A person's dog stands by them in prosperity and in poverty, in health and in sickness. He will sleep on the cold ground where the wintry winds blow and the snow drives fiercely, if only he may be near his master's side. And the speech goes on, but I think you understand it. A copy of the speech is sent to clients who have a DNA breed determination test done by us for their dog. Many people adopt dogs, get them from shelters, acquire them by an unlimited variety of means, and then curiosity strikes. What breeds are actually in this dog? Aside from the curiosity aspect, there are actually important reasons to make a genetic determination of what breeds are in your particular dog. You will learn the relative percentages of each of the major breeds in the dog. Plus, you're sent a certificate outlining, based on the genetic profile of the dog, what likely character traits is the animal likely to exhibit and what potential medical problems does that genetic breed relate to. So you're satisfying your curiosity about the breeds and you're answering the other two questions. This in no way impacts on the love a person has for their dog, but it does satisfy the human curiosity craving. When we've completed the test, we send you a certificate. And if you email us or supply us with the photo of the dog, we incorporate that in the certificate along with a list of the breeds. Now, the way it works is most people will call us or send in the form off our website and we will send them at no cost a sample collection kit which consists of a couple of swabs. They're going to swab the inside of each cheek on the dog, put it in the envelope and return it to us with the remittance form. Then they pay the fee and the entire fee for this service is $59, which by any standards is a remarkably low price, but based on the very large volumes we do in connection with canine breed determination. An important service used widely by the public and professionals, veterinarians, etc., because it's nice to know what your animal is all about, even though you love him dearly in any event. The next topic we'll touch on in connection with animal health is a newer trend, but an important one. Because people love and treasure their dogs, it's a member of their family, a process known as microchipping has come into prominence the last few years. When it first came along, it was cumbersome and awkward. Today, it's been simplified to the extent where a person can order a single syringe, which is specially designed so that the 
grain-sized chip in the end of the syringe in three seconds can be inserted under the skin of the dog and it's usually inserted at the back of his neck between the shoulder blades. Once inserted, the microchip stays and is active for approximately 75 years, long beyond the length of the dog. What purpose does the microchip serve? Each microchip has a unique bar digit code. When you insert the microchip, the package has labels with those codes on it, and one is returned to us. And if you wish, we will register for life at a very modest fee the microchip number relating to your dog. What happens if your dog gets lost? That's what the system is all about. If your dog gets lost and we're contacted, we will notify all the rescue organizations, SPCAs, etc., in a geographical area where the dog is likely to be and give them the microchip number. Every rescue organization and dog shelter has a microchip reader. They will merely scan the neck of your dog and if the microchip is there, the number comes up, they'll contact us and we of course transmit the information to the owner so he can go and recover his lost animal. It's a marvelous system. It's coming into broader and broader use and it guarantees you you'll always be able to identify your dog and should your dog be lost or stolen you have an excellent chance of recovery. They're very inexpensive. A person can buy a single microchip for approximately ten dollars or you can go to your veterinarian who provides the service but then of course there's a service fee. But it's simple to use, economical and very important for the owner and the security of the dog.